Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we're going to talk about canceling student loan debt. Um, there's a meme going around saying that Biden's already done that. That's not true. Um, just letting you know. However, he has asked for a finding. He, he's basically asked White House lawyers, hey, can I do this? Now, on the campaign trail, he said he was willing to do up to $10,000. Now the number is $50,000 because progressives managed to push him. <laughs> and that's what happened. Um, they kept pushing for a higher number, and they got it. So now he's trying to figure out if he can do it. We have to wait to see what the White House lawyers say. After the last four years, I don't exactly trust White House lawyers, so I reached out to some friends of mine. There is a difference between understanding the Constitution and understanding constitutional law. Those two things don't always go together. I asked three people who really understand constitutional law. I got three different answers. So these were the answers I got. No, he can't do it has to go through Congress because Congress controls the purse strings. The second, yes, he can do it. These agencies are in the executive, and he can direct them. The third, not only could Biden do it via executive order, some of these agencies could do it via their own discretion. That seems unlikely to me. The first two make sense constitutionally, even though they're in direct opposition to each other. To me, this isn't new spending. To me, this is more like the Coast Guard getting rid of old boats than, than new spending that would need Congress. But we'll have to see what, what the legal finding says. Um, now, the next question is, is this going to fix the system of higher education in the United States? No, no, not at all. This is uh, putting a Band-Aid on something that needs stitches. Our system of higher education is... Uh, it needs help. It needs help. This isn't going to do that. But I don't think that's Biden's goal. I don't think that's what he's planning here or why he was willing to go, uh, go up on the number. I think the way Biden is looking at it is right now you have $700 in student loan debt payments each month. If you no longer have those to make, you have $700 in disposable income, which will boost the economy, will further stimulate the economy. And if Biden can keep the economy up, do what he can, it uh, looks good in 2022 and 2024. Biden has been around long enough to know that in many cases, when it comes to the election, it's really about the economy. That may be the case. That may be the case in 2022 or 2024. And I think that's what he's focusing on. Even if this is done, there's still more work to do when it comes to the system of higher education in the U.S. So there's a complete non-answer to the question because I couldn't get one. We're going to have to wait and see what the White House says. I would expect that if this... Uh, happens any way other than going through Congress, it will be challenged in court. So, and then we'll have to see what happens in the court proceedings. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.